League of Legends has been known for having a community with a less than shining reputation, and every year Riot tries to find ways to make themselves look a little bit better, and back in 2021 they started the LCS Game Changer series, but they've decided this year to promote it a little bit differently, where people of marginalized genders can be a part of it, and they've hit in hundreds if not thousands of comments on their tweet about it. I have a few different things that I want to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content that I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting the channel through Patreon or via YouTube memberships. So yes, the LCS official Twitter account had posted this video that has gone pretty viral at this point. Now it says, we had to ask the players, what does LCS Game Changers mean to you? Now this has been uh, quite a controversial video. And I think that it's important to point out that the LCS originally began uh, in 2021 for women. It says the League of Legends Championship Series is looking to diversify its esports ecosystem with a new event title, LCS Game Changers. Similar to the VCT Game Changers Initiative, the event aims to provide a platform for women who are interested in entering North America amateur and professional League of Legends esports league. So it's not a league of its own where women only were part of it. Yes, women only were part of it, but it was basically a stepping stone for women uh, to get into League of Legends esports leagues. Uh, I personally don't really think that women need their own stepping stone, but that's okay. They, they created it. It was successful. It is what it is. But they have decided this year to completely change this. It's not just for women anymore. It says the LCS Game Changers 2023, part of the League of Legends Championship Series, marks the third installment of the program. This initiative is dedicated to showcasing the talent of players from marginalized genders in North America. It serves as a gateway to allow women and people of marginalized genders to enter the realm of competitive play. So first of all, what the fuck is a marginalized gender, okay? That is my first question, guys. They don't explain that at all, but we can clearly see what they mean with this post because unfortunately, this has blown up for them for all of the reasons that they don't want it to, right? They simply put out this video hoping it was going to empower people. Well, it did the exact opposite. What it did was it provided people with the answer on what marginalized genders truly means. As you can see in this video, and I'm not going to play it all, um, there is one single biological woman in this video. That's it. They have several people who are part of this. Uh, I'm not going to go through them all, but the first one is Shapeshift. She slash her on, I think the team name is Serenity. Ryle, she, her, Arcana. You also have someone named Heliosa, she, they, on Team Serenity. And there is only one single biological woman in this whole entire promotion. I mean, you would think that they would want to highlight more naturally born women, real women, uh, biological women, whatever you want the term to be, they should be highlighting real woman. And as a woman, I am pretty, you know, ticked off about this because even though it's a little bit different from, you know, physical sports because men cl clearly have an advantage uh, over women in physical sports, this still is a league or a championship series that was started only for women. And instead of keeping it only for women, they have decided to go this extremely woke route, right? D-E-I to the max. They've decided to highlight marginalized genders. I'm sorry, you should only have women part of this, but people uh, have been saying this. I mean, the video currently has 10.4 million views, and they had actually uh, 
locked down the replies saying who can reply only people they follow or mention can reply but this was a day and a half after they posted this video because as you can see as you scroll down i mean this reply was hidden this reply was hidden they have hidden hundreds if not thousands of replies there's no way to see exactly how many replies they've hidden but i mean if i sit here and i keep scrolling we're clearly not hitting the end. I mean, there are, again, hundreds, if not thousands, of responses. And that's why they decided to lock the replies, because they must have had some kind of bot blocking any kind of negative response here. I mean, they are, they're absurd. I mean, this is just an absurd situation uh, all around. And, and many, many people agree with, you know, what I'm saying. And I'm sure the way you guys feel, I mean, some of these responses have 200, 300,000 views on them, which is crazy. People doing the, the, uh, the neutral face saying bruh wait I thought this was an all-girls league this is literally just a bunch of transgenders kind of bummed out about that uh, if I say what I think I'll be suspended for six months if you want to live your life this way I can't tell you not to right you are an adult it is your life do what you want with your life but all they have done with this leak now is they have completely overshadowed the people that it was originally started for. That's all they've done. They've basically pushed women out of the spotlight and gone, well, look at these other people that we have marginalized genders. We are so progressive. Look at us. We're doing something great for the gaming industry. That is all that has happened with this situation. It's just so sad to see. Uh, people saying things like, that's a no from me. Uh, you, why are there more guys? I mean, people are just not happy with this situation. She, they, you know, well, 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 question marks. I mean, it's just, it's just absurd. As a woman, this is pretty upsetting to me. This was originally started as a championship for women. It should have stayed for women, and they decided not to do that because, of course, they want those sweet, sweet ESG points. They want to hit the DEI initiatives for the year, and this is what we're getting. I mean... I'm sure that they're going to continue to post about it on their official Twitter account. They're going to get absolutely annihilated, just like they did this time. Um, but yes, this is the situation. Instead of it being for women this year, it's for women and marginalized genders, and they are getting absolutely destroyed on their promotional material. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.